Sadly, Henry Talbot does not make a cameo in the Downton Abbey sequel. This gives the creators three options. One, bring back Mary's husband. Two, kill off the character. Three, divorce the couple and find Mary a new husband. In today's video, we'll walk you through every possibility and see which one of them is most suitable. Heavens, Mr. Talbot. Is this part of your plan to convince me? Downton Abbey A New Era proved to be even more successful than its predecessor. And considering the viewership numbers, along with the record-breaking box office numbers, a third film seems guaranteed. The film had everything you could possibly imagine, intense storylines, incredible plot twists, scandal, and of course the promised and heartbreaking point in death that truly broke our hearts. We knew that this film would change the Crawley family forever, but we never expected to see so many storylines packed into just one film. As you already know, the film focuses on two major storylines. The first one features the film crew coming to the Downton estate as Mary Talbot is asked to keep an eye on them. In the trailer for the film, you can hear her say, there's trouble in paradise. The thing is, she says this to very attractive newcomer, which means things are not great between her and Henry. Well, we wish they had issues, but instead, Henry was nowhere to be found in the much anticipated film. Apparently, he was really busy with his hobby of racing cars, and he had no time for his wife and his wife's family. I'll see you in a minute. The other storyline of the film focuses on Violet and her big revelation. She tells the Crawley family that she inherited a villa in the south of France, a residence she's come into possession of following her ex's death. Yes, that's right, Lady Violet has exes. So as the Crawleys head to France, a film crew that started filming in this state. The staff is initially not really fond of the newcomers, but they quickly adapt to the newly created situation. Throughout the film, Lady Mary develops a flirtatious relationship with one of the crew members, meaning that we expected to see Henry devastated and, of course, jealous, though he's missing in the new film. But this isn't the first time Henry's absent. He was nowhere to be found in the first film as well due to being away on a business trip. The character is played by Matthew Good, and in the series, he was considered to be a fan-favorite character. Henry was never as loved as Matthew, the first husband of Lady Mary, but after everything that happened to her, fans developed a connection with her second husband as Mary was finally feeling happy after a long time of suffering different tragedies. While the actor made a small cameo in the first film, he doesn't appear in the sequel at all. His absence is explained in the film, but it doesn't really make any sense. This case reminds me a lot of Bridgerton and Ricky Jean Page's absence from Season 2. If you've already binge-watched Bridgerton Season 2, you know how weird it feels to see Simon's wife Daphne all alone during some really important events. Well, the same thing happens with Mary and her husband. And I know you're not interested in race. It's not only that. I don't know why. Just like Daphne, Mary explains her husband's absence, saying that Henry is traveling the world racing cars and doesn't want to come home. But why did Good refuse to appear in the film? Well, the actor's busy schedule is to blame. Matthew Good said that he was working on his new show, The Offer, and couldn't find time to appear in a new era. In The Offer, Good plays Robert Evans, the late movie producer and Paramount Studios CEO. The actor made his debut in the series' season 5's Christmas special and acted as Lady Mary's husband until the final season. As previously mentioned, he made a small cameo in the first film. Prior to the release of the first film, he told Radio Times, I'm just popping in at the end, which is a nice way to do it. At the time, he also blamed his busy schedule as he was working on the TV show A Discovery of Witches. I'll be honest with you, I felt Henry's absence a lot during the film, and it really didn't make any sense that he was absent in the last scenes of the film. I'm not 20 either, but I still tremble at the touch of your hands. Me too, I don't know why I said that. A new era in Henry's absence led to the potential romantic storyline between Lady Mary and director Jack Barber, a character played by Hugh Dancy. There's trouble in paradise, Jack tells Lady Mary at one point, to which he replies, you don't need me to tell you that the marriage is a novel full of plot twists along the way. Although Jack developed a crush on Mary, she refused to do anything with him and decided to stay loyal to her husband. I believe this won't be the case in the potential third film, and if Good decides not to return in the next film, the creators will have to find a storyline that would really explain his absence. Our best theory is that Lady Mary and Henry will eventually divorce and Mary will enjoy her single life. Perhaps Lady Mary will be given a new love interest, but considering everything she went through, I mean all those tragedies, especially the one with Matthew, I don't think Mary would be happy to start dating again. Some fans think that Henry Talbot should be killed off, which is a bit harsh, to be honest. Again, the divorce theory sounds right, at least to me. Do you guys think there's a better solution to this issue? Let us know before we discuss the possibility of Downton Abbey 3. Those whom God hath joined together, 
Let no man put asunder. Downton Abbey 3 could happen, only viewers want to see another film. As mentioned, the viewership numbers are pretty great, and critics agree that Downton Abbey A New Era is a cinematic masterpiece. Of course, this would be a really different film from what we're used to seeing in Downton, because one person who won't return for the potential third installment is the fan favorite Dame Maggie Smith, since the Dowager died at the end of the sequel, something a lot of fans expected but hoped won't happen. She could return through flashbacks, though. Elizabeth McGovern could return to reprise her role of Cora with Hugh Bonneville as Robert Crawley. Although Bonneville doesn't believe a third film could happen, we'll talk about that a bit later in the video. The sequel also revealed that new Captain of Downton, Michelle Dockery as Lady Mary Talbot, who would hopefully return together with her sister Lady Edith, played by Laura Carmichael. Fans would also love to see Samantha Bond back as Lady Rosamund Painswick, Ali Lee as Tom Branson, and Tuppence Middleton as Lucy Branson. The new baby is also welcomed, as it's time to see the new generation of Downton Abbey, don't you think so? It's still valid, so should we just get married now? Now? Well, on Saturday. Oh. As for Matthew Good, we don't expect him to return. According to most fan made up theories, the third film could focus on the breaking marriage of Mary and Henry. That sounds like an interesting idea for a threequel. Sadly, Hugh Bonneville doesn't believe Downton 3 would happen. This is really sad, I mean considering the fact that Bonneville plays the head of the Crawley family. A film without his character would be awful. Although the sequel was released in April 2022, fans have been wondering whether the creators will make a third film. Unfortunately, Bonneville thinks a third film seems unlikely. In an interview with RadioTimes.com, the actor said he suspected a return was probably not the case. Bonneville has been playing Lord Grantham since season 1, and it's really sad to hear him say no to the possibility of another film. Here's what he said, I don't know if it will return. I thought for a while that maybe there was an energy to do the third one, but I suspect that's probably not the case. I think we've probably quit on a high. He also said that you need to smash the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. I would have come out as some sort of scarlet woman. <laughs> no, seriously, he continued, saying, and it has been so beloved and it went out on such a great note, I think it would be very hard to take it on a third. But you never know. But I think if that's the end of it, there's been a great way to finish. Do you think Downton deserves to go beyond its second chapter? See you in the next video.